Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. So today guys, I'm going to show you my, maybe some of you have been waiting for it, my Bride of Frankenstein with her bridesmaids tree. I decided to give her bridesmaids, okay? So I found this aqua tree in my closet and I was actually kind of looking for my Halloween one, but I actually think this one might be kind of cool, okay? So basically, I'm just going to fluff it out, okay? And I'm just kind of, kind of just wing it. I'm not really going to, there's not really going to be any rhyme or reason to this. Um, you know, the way I'm kind of spreading everything out. And it does have, I don't know if you can see or not, because I'm going to have to keep on looking in the can, like looking behind the camera to see if I got it right. Um, it does have a light on it. I don't know if it'll show up. But let me go ahead and spread the branches out first. And guys, I honestly cannot remember where I got this tree, but I want to say that I got it at a yard sale, but I could have got it like at a thrift store. I, I don't even know. But okay, so I have some of this um, deco mesh and I've decided to do it like this because this is going to be a girl tree, an all girly tree. Okay, so I never really know where to begin to do the deco mesh. So I guess I'm just going to kind of... You know, like I said, I'm just going to kind of wing it and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of just pushing it into the tree and then <clears throat> I've seen some people kind of like, you know, push it in and bend it around the branches and so I'm just like I said, I'm just doing whatever comes to mind. It's going to be like a glam um Bride of Frankenstein tree and I love this color combination already okay I don't know about you guys but I love it already it kind of reminds me of like candy right it looks like candy but anyway guys so as you can see I'm gonna use the whole entire roll okay and wait until you see the cute little Bride of Frankenstein's that I made and I'll show you how I made them if you haven't seen my video on how I did it okay and I will come back a little bit so let me go ahead and continue to do this and I'll be right back okay so there it is so far as you can see it's kind of like almost like nothing's really happening to it right right now but let me get one of the first brides okay our bridesmaids Okay, so here is the first bridesmaid. So let's find a spot for her in here somewhere. And I might have to rearrange that, but the good thing about the deco mesh is you can just kind of, well, the back of them don't look that great, but. Okay, so there's just one sticking out right now, okay? And I'm gonna just tell you how I made them. Okay, so these things came in a pack at the Dollar Tree, um, and they were supposed to be scarecrows. Now, if you had watched a couple of videos, I mean a video a couple of weeks ago, you would have seen the pack. I actually don't have the pack anymore with all the pieces in it, but these were supposed to be scarecrows that you dress up, okay? So I had a whole bunch of them, and I decided that I'd paint each face a different color. But before I found those pieces, I was trying to do it on my own like this, okay? And I was trying to make those little knobs for for earrings because she doesn't really have knobs on her neck but when I discovered how easy it is to just use those things I totally went with these okay this one is like the the prototype okay <laughs> if you want to call it that okay so this one here and then I just used all felt I did um different color felt um, the back, some of them are okay and some of them aren't. I could have done it a little bit better on the back, but I wanted to get this Christmas tree out soon, okay? So basically, these are the bridesmaids, okay? This is not the bride yet. These are the total, only the bridesmaids, okay? So let's see if I can find a better way to show you what's happening here. Okay, so these are the bridesmaids so far, okay? Okay, so there it is so far, but I haven't put the bride on the top yet. But obviously, you can decorate this tree any or your tree any way you want. Um, but I'm going to show you the bride. 
so the bride looks a little bit different she has the black hair I made the bridesmaids different I made them different color hair but I kept her you know with the black hair and then the the things up the side of her head and she's kind of like a hot mess anyway when she first came out she had like all bandages on her you know like in the movie so and I originally cut the strips in half but then I said no I like the big fat strip that I had had from a different um little DIY pack that I had from the um, gingerbread man if you saw that video you'd know what I mean too the, those gr thick green strips come in like a gingerbread DIY pack at a Dollar Tree but anyway guys so let me put her on the top of the tree because I'm working with the one hand here so you can see what she looks like okay okay so there she is she's the star okay of the tree so there's the bride of Frankenstein and all her bridesmaids okay so there she is there's the star okay I hope you can see it because I had to change the angle of the light let me try to get it a little bit better okay and it was a little bit tedious um, because you know you can kind of see the words I'll show you see how that little thing right there says Greenbrier International well I had to double up on the dresses because you could see the word through it some of the hats I put little cotton balls in I did a lot of hot gluing. I think this blue hat, when I call it a hat, I mean the hairdo, you know, the beehive. Most of them have little cotton balls inside of them to give it a little puffiness, but not all of them. I think it's this one that I didn't put the cotton ball and I wish I did. Even though it looks nice and clean and cute, I do still feel like I should have put the cotton ball in there, in the hairdo. But I do have one more thing to add to the tree, guys, okay? I got a couple of these um, microfiber dust mop pads in the Dollar Tree in the cleaning section where the mops are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap them around the bottom of the tree to make it look nice and finished. Okay, so I put it on the floor so you can kind of see how it looks lit up. I lit it up. How adorable is that, right? And you can make a whole bunch of these. A little bit tedious, like I said, but I think it's worth it. It's a fun thing to do. I like doing fun things like this. And there's those things. And actually the, the blue or purple light, whatever it is, is shining through the um, the mop thing too. So let me put it um, someplace a little bit better to see. Okay, here it is, guys. I put it in front of my faux fireplace. How adorable is that? right <laughs> oh my god I love this and it was so easy pretty much everything but the tree itself even the lights I think came from Dollar Tree but I'm pretty sure every single thing that I used here came from the Dollar Tree the felt to make the hairdos the felt for the dresses everything and I even added some eyelashes to the bride with some felt marker but they sell these little trees at the Dollar Tree so there you go guys in case you've been waiting because I have been talking about the Bride of Frankenstein and her bridesmaids and I just wanted to show you how adorable it came out thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next video bye now